Was the Mine Lab Equinox 800 3.0 update a mistake? In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix it. Hello everyone, Larry Rivera here with Sodbusters Metal Detecting. I, as most of you know, those of you that are subscribed to my channel and watch my videos, you know that the Mine Lab Equinox 800 is my go-to machine. I'm real happy with this machine. Uh, it's done very well for me. Recently, Mine Lab came out with a new software update called the 3.0. Well, recently I updated that 3.0 and I wanted to test it out. So I did a video on both of those. I did a video on how to uh, do your upgrade, how to update your machine, which I will leave a link right up here if you want to learn how to do any update, whether it's the 2.0 or the 3.0, click on this link right here and it'll take you to a video that shows you how to do that. Um, also, I did a video on my test results, my field test results, after I updated the to the 3.0 and also i will put that link right there if you can click on that you can watch that and see what my test results are some people had very good results with the new 3.0 update i on the other hand did not uh, there were some things that were very questionable to me um, there were just some things that were kind of confusing and i I was not happy with the results that I got from that update. So, the reason for this video is to let you guys know, I know there was some feedback. Some of you were not happy with the update, but it's okay, you guys. We have a solution. We have a fix to where we don't have to worry about that anymore, okay? You may have already downloaded the 3.0, but I'm going to show you how to fix that here. So, so stay tuned. You guys, I will say that I did talk to Mine Lab about my results on the uh, new update. And so they requested that I send them my test results, uh, the video I did on test results. So they are looking into it. Um, and as always, Mine Lab, you know, they're going to do whatever they can to perfect their product. And they do have a good product. So anyway, um, let's hop on the computer and we'll take a look, see what we can do to, to remedy our, our issues here. All right, you guys, we're going to get back on to MineLab.com. And just like we did before when we were uploading the update, we're going to go to Metal Detectors. You're going to choose your Equinox, whether it be the 800 or the 600. Mine is the 800, so I'm going to click on that. All right. Now right down here, it says Downloads. I'm going to click on that. All right. And then just below that, it says Software. I'm going to click on that. All right. So now, whether you're using a Mac or, a, or Windows, mine is Windows. And here is the utility 3.0. I'm going to click here. All right. Now I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click mine on mine is Windows. I'm going to click here. All right. That's going to go ahead and download to see if I'm updated or not, which I know that my detector is. But this will just take a, a minute here to, to download. I'd be interested to hear, uh, for those of you that have downloaded the 3.0, what your results were. I know that some of you uh, were happy with the results, and some of you were not happy at all. So... Um, I'm interested to hear both sides of the story. 
Okay, it's just about there. All right, so the update is down here, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click down here, open that up. All right. Now it says here that my current software is the version 3.1.3. .3. You see these three dots right here, you guys? They're hard to see, I know, but right down here in this black window here, there's three dots. If you click on that right there, that'll bring up previous restore a previous update version. So right now I'm at the 3.1.3. .3. I don't want the 3.1.3 .3 because I wasn't satisfied with what it did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restore this back to the 2.1.12. Okay. And you can actually restore it back to the original if you want to. You can restore it back to the 1.5.0 but um or you can go 1.7.5 whatever you want to do but i'm going to restore it back to the 2.1.12 click install now here it says do not disconnect or turn off your detector you will obviously have to have your detector connected to your computer to do this and you're also going to have to have your coil installed hooked up on your detector Okay, um, but right now, this is going to restore the previous update, the 2.0. That's what everybody calls it, the 2.0. Um, and take me back out of the 3.0. All right, it's just about there. All right, there it is. Do not disconnect or turn off your detector. Okay, I've got action on my detector now. All right, it says now your detector can be disconnected. So, all right, you guys, that's how you do it. Um, <laughs> problem solved. We just fixed the newest update. If you did not like it and you wanted, you want to restore the previous update, go back to it and get rid of the 3.0. That's how you do it. All right, I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, I would sure appreciate it if you uh, liked, subscribed, and also hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of the upcoming episodes. All right, you guys, take care.